na mwenna abakola akavera abakaje bwe ne muka kusana muka yingiza mu Uganda namu abakoze sabu vera tandi kana abantu bafa ba supermarkets duli mali muvude ku kavera nga mutadde ko degradable carrier bags munanta bulira ne mudde mu kavera okuvalwa lero mbasaba Ndi musupa market za mumujemo uvera. Moses sategeka the executive director Plastic and Recyclers Association East Africa while addressing journalists at the head office in Naguru said a lack of consultations from different stakeholders and poor enforcement of the law are key issues that the government has failed to implement for so many years which could have addressed the issue of misuse of polythene bags and plastic materials than suspending the manufacturers noting that government is likely to spend trillions of shillings in form of compensation towards the affected companies and dealers. So, minister, where you get the you know, money to make consulting, uh, consultation stay not in a mass. Manga, or if you go to Omogogi, or in Omosas, you take a little gira, Mokoli. I will jog about to be jail, to be no aware we take a to be jail, they have to know quite right a compensation. Centers of it is even like an anger, zero trillions of money. Ategeka has also revealed that over 1 million people will remain unemployed due to the ban on polythene bags and urged the government to make thorough consultations with stakeholders before the decision on the ban of polythene bags is implemented, stressing that the ban on polythene bags is not ideal. Tuina a minimum ejisuka mitwaro mukab. Direct. Then Zuniza, Alara, Alimu transportation, your quarter of Vera, Baburons, or Bujewa, Chitizi, to a toilet factory, or quarter of Vera, to a toilet cavalry, what of Vera to Tamzewa, a good Vanabacola, Motredi, Vanabacola, Mot distribution, wholesalers, Banj, Tivavalica, Nayet to Valanti, Baliwa Gua million. Over one million Ugandans were very affected. Mitoro mkaka direct avali kumusara hapa funa all packages nga social funds, NSSF, nga makoli yuka wino kukola. Plastic materials and polythene bags remain one of the biggest threat to the environment in Uganda, Africa and the rest of the world. If we enforce these laws, you realize that the people who do wrong to litter the environment, to render the environment useless, are going to get out of business if the law is well enforced. First of all, there are two laws National Environment Act 2019, which stipulates 30 microns and above. Not all manufacturers can afford to produce 30 microns and above, it is at a cost. Two, you have recycling recommendation. If you're not, if you're putting plastic and into recycling, they kick you out of Uganda. Three, if you are there, you are producing and you don't bother to teach the public, to help the public know that the plastics are bad and we should control them from littering the environment. Those are people who should be kicking out of Uganda. This story has been compiled by Dennis Kato for Channel 44 Prime News.